covering the first coast. From the beaches, the springs, and all in between, this is Jack's News Now in High Definition. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of Jack's News Now. I'm Nick Lully. This evening, we are reporting the death of Osama bin Laden, the Al-Qaeda mastermind who masterminded many attacks on places around the world, including here in the United States. Last evening, President Obama announced that U.S. forces and Navy SEALs specifically had killed bin Laden in Pakistan, just outside the capital, actually, about 15 miles away in another sub suburb town. Uh, he was in a mansion of sorts that was heavily guarded by a large fence and also barbed wire. <clears throat> Today we also learned that he actually used one of his wives as a shield to try to protect himself, but he ultimately did die in a firefight that lasted about 45 minutes, like I said, between US, SEALs, US Navy SEALs and Bin Laden and a few of his associates. Let's show you now video of the president speaking from last night announcing the death of Bin Laden. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. And that right there was U.S. President Barack Obama speaking. He made his remarks around 11.30 p.m. last night, originally scheduled to go on the airwaves at 10.30. And between 10.30 and 11.30, we did end up learning through various sources that it was bin Laden's death that was to be announced earlier in the day. They had announced that the president was going to make um, a statement about some sort of important national security issue, and we eventually learned that it was about the death of bin Laden. Here locally in Jackson, we have many Navy servicemen, of course, and other military family members that are being affected by the death of bin Laden. Many are overjoyed. We talked to Dr. Justin Dorenzo, who sees many of those military members, to see how they were taking the news. Today, I've, I've spoken to many military members about the news about Osama bin Laden, and. I've heard a resounding excitement and uh, pleasure about this news. And many are saying that the death of Osama bin Laden will be one of those days where you will remember all where you were when you heard the news. Many people gathered around the White House and other landmarks, especially in New York City at Ground Zero and in Times Square, to, for everyone to celebrate together. We heard fireworks here going off in Jacksonville and just around the world, just everyone is celebrating the death of uh, the death, basically, of this mastermind who killed so many people throughout the world. We'll bring you continuing coverage on the death of Osama bin Laden and perhaps the aftermath of Al-Qaeda members possibly retaliating against the West for um, the death of their leader. From, for now, from the HD Studio Jacks here in Jacksonville, Florida, I'm Nick Lully for Jacks News Now.